Okay, so it's not snowing and it's well it's hardly warm outside but we are gonna continue work on the super bus. As you can probably tell that's my YouTube inbox and we've got some messages from people who have given us some guidance on how to get this working again. So we're gonna to spend today trying to get some sort of life out of the engine. And I think the first thing we're gonna do is uh, find a working battery and replace these damaged um, battery terminals because they look a little corroded and uh, then we're going to see if we can get a light on the dashboard so that's our job for today okay so while replacing the battery terminals this came out and this end just wasn't attached to anything and since it's the earth for the battery I'm assuming it needs to be attached to something in order for it to work so we're going to try and find, work out where this other end goes but there could be hundreds of places I reckon anywhere that there's a bolt you can screw it to and it would fit it will go on to so I don't know I now need to work out where this goes but everything else is coming along quite nicely. The new battery terminals are going on. Well, they're not new. They're the ones from inside the van. We're going to clean up the old ones and use the old ones to power the electronics inside the van instead. And, uh, yeah, that's about it so far. We need to go somewhere and pick up the other batteries that we've got. But, um, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Look! 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 There's a light on the dashboard! Yes! Finally, some engine progress! Some engine progress. That means the battery, I think we tried to test it on last time, was a dud, probably. But, we're good. Oh, yes! Progress! Thank you, people! Uh... We might have hit another slight problem, I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's quite a big eyelet. Yeah, we don't know whether it goes on the bottom of the side. Oh, we don't know where it, whether it goes on the bottom of the start motor? It's the solenoid. Or the solenoid. For the start motor, I don't know whether it goes on the bottom of the set motor, I don't know. Yeah. Um, how many places are there that it can connect? Should we just try one, and if it doesn't work, we'll try the other? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Alright, cool, we'll do it. big possibility. Alright, cool. Um, we reckon that the starter motor is... Um, naff! Broken! Destroyed! Um, we reckon that we've got the right wiring from there to the dashboard, and from everything else to everything else, except... There's nothing, there's no noises, there's no nothing. When you turn the ignition, there's nothing. Alright, no noises, no sparks, no nothing. So, um, we might need to buy a new starter motor. Uh, we'll keep trying, and if, uh, if we can't fix it, then we we'll have to look for a new starter motor, it seems. Which is annoying, because it might have just been the start motor which stopped the old engine from working. And if it was... No, it won't. It's, it, there were, there oh yeah, the there was grease and everywhere. And no, the piston, the piston was cracked was as well, wasn't it? The <laughs> oh well. But the old engine fucking could be a result of... Could be a result of the old engine, yeah. Oh well, alright, well. We're gonna soldier on. See what we can do, and if we can't do anything, then we'll post this up on YouTube and ask for help in our usual manner. Uh, wow, don't our painted doors look nice? Aren't they amazing? Now I've put my door handle back on. Ignore that, we still need to fix that. But um, I think Fred is trying to get the starter motor out now. I'm going to take it upstairs, I'm going to have a little tinker with it, see if I can fix it. Probably not. But, uh, we don't know if we don't try, so we're going to try that. 
Uh, hopefully we can save ourselves some money on a new starter motor. If not, then what can you do? Buy a new starter motor is what you can do.